A baseline dimension creates a second dimension from the same first extension line origin or baseline as the previous dimension or from another dimension that you select. This method of placing dimensions is often used in mechanical drafting to reference dimensions from a common point or in architectural drafting to indicate the total length of a series of individual dimensions. To create a baseline dimension, click the Baseline tool on the Dimensions panel of the Annotate ribbon. Note that the Baseline and Continue Dimension tools share a single drop-down. Whichever tool you choose becomes the new default for this button. When you start the command, the program prompts you to specify the second extension line origin, or select. If you want to place a baseline dimension measuring from the same first extension line origin as the last dimension you created, you can simply select the next point you want to dimension to. But if that's not the dimension you want to use, you can select a different dimension. To do so, either right-click and choose the Select option from the shortcut menu or press Enter. The program then prompts you to select a different base dimension. You can then select the dimension you want to use. Be careful to select the end of the dimension you want to measure from, because there are two sides to the dimension, the left side and the right side. If I pick on the left side, the program uses that side as the new baseline origin, and the new baseline dimensions will start from that end. But that's not what I want. I want it to continue from this base point. So all I have to do, even if I picked it incorrectly, is simply right-click, choose the Select option again, and pick the right side of the dimension. Once I pick it, the program uses that end as the first extension origin for the new dimension, and I can use Object Snap to pick the endpoint corresponding to the next point I want to dimension to. Notice that the command stays active, so I can place additional baseline dimensions, all measured from the same first point. When I'm finished, I can right-click and choose Cancel to end the command, or press the Escape key. Also notice that when I added the new baseline dimensions, they took on the same dimension style as the dimension whose extension line I selected, even though the current dimension style is called alternate and uses tick marks rather than arrowheads, the baseline dimensions I added were created using the standard dimension style, the same style as the dimension I selected. By default, when you create a baseline dimension, the program automatically uses the dimension style of the selected dimension. If you want the new baseline dimension to use the current dimension style, change the value of the dim continue mode system variable to zero. When set to one, which is the default, baseline dimensions use the dimension style of the selected dimension. When set to zero, however, the baseline dimensions you add will use the current dimension style. Lastly, also notice that the program automatically spaces each baseline dimension. The spacing distance is controlled by the baseline spacing setting for the dimension style used to create the baseline dimension. There are several ways to change the spacing, including changing the baseline spacing setting, using the Adjust Space command, or by manually moving the dimension lines.